let's have a look here at um, time series data and making comparisons. So when we're comparing between um, more than one time series. So we've still got our main features, which are our trend, um, our seasonality and variation. And we've looked at those individually in the previous videos. So here's an example. And what I've got is I've got looking at the percentage return um, and this is going from data from 1967 through to 1981 and I've got two different um, funds here well, one in green one in red so I want to compare each of these three features so let's just start by having a look at the trend so if I was to draw a trend line through the middle okay so if I was to look at data at the start through to the data at the end that's kind of like an overall trend line that I would put through the green one if I was to let me just switch colors if I was to now do that through the red one the red data here and I'm just going to do it in the green color just so that you can see hopefully you can see that there's two different types of trends going on there so with this green data we've got um, the trend is decreasing okay so decreasing trend whereas with the red data we've got an increasing trend okay so that's the comment that we want to be able to write so this is talking about the return percentage on two types of funds and I have no idea what they are but um, it's a really interesting graph which is why I've chosen it um, so I would just write that the um, long-term trend um, of percentage return for the um, PSA vert, whatever that is, um, is decreasing um, between 1967 and 1981 whereas because that needs to be a comparison um, whereas the long-term trend for the UN oh no I can't even read U E M P M E D whatever that stands for um, is increasing okay now that would get me my achieved I've compared them I've said that the the trends increasing and decreasing so I've identified that to get to the merit I need to justify it so what I would need to do is be able to say right what is approximately the value there and what is the approximately the value at the end so I need the values in the years at the start and at the end so I would be able to say for um, the PSA VRT one, um, in 1967, it was averaging, the percentage return was about 12%, and that had dropped down to around 11% by 1981. Okay, so that would be my justifying. Um, so um, let me do that. Um, for the PSA vert, the um, trend in 1967 um, is around 12% um, and this dropped to around 11% by 1981 okay and then I would do the same for the other trend and say right at the start that was about 5% and at the end it had risen to about 7% um, for the U I don't even remember what it is UEM I think um, the trend 
in 1969 is around 6% um, and this rose to around 7% by 1981. And I can make an overall comparison that the PSA vert one is higher, is giving a higher return, even though it's decreasing slightly over this time period, it is a, the line is much higher. We're talking about 11 and 12 percent versus six and seven percent. Okay, so the PSA vert um, has a higher average um, percentage return compared with the UNEM. Oh gosh, no, I can't even get right out. UEMPED percentage return. Um, a note there of around 12% um, and that's of around 7%. Okay, so there's a comparison of our trend. Now we want to have a look at seasonality. Now this particular graph, it's actually much harder to see seasonality um, and so I'm, <sighs> apart from the lines going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, we can't tell, we don't have enough information to be able to know which months it's rising or which months it's lowering. Um, and so all I'm going to make a note here is, um, yeah, how am I going to word that? It is hard um, to notice any seasonality in this graph. It's just too difficult for this particular one. Alright, what about variation? So this is where I want to draw my lines above and beyond again. So I draw my lines at the top and draw my lines um, down the bottom. And I want to say, well, are those lines reasonably parallel? And yeah, there's a couple of spots where it's a little bit wider, a little bit narrower. But we certainly don't have that fan or funnel effect. Okay, so I would say for this one, it's not good, it's not perfect, but I would say it's reasonably constant. Okay, a little bit of variation, but not too bad. Then I'm going to do the same for hitting those lines there and hitting those lines there. And again, they're reasonably parallel. Okay, so I can see that that is reasonably um, constant. So that's the first thing that I want to write a comment about, is the fact that both of them have reasonably consistent and constant variation. And then I need to do a comparison. Um, so both um, PSA BERT and UEMPMED have reasonably consistent variation from 1967 to 1981. Now I want to compare those two and if you look at those how wide the purple lines are um, and you look at kind of that width of these purple lines, okay, and then you look at the width of those blue lines. And I hope what you can notice is that the blue lines are much closer together. There's less variation in total, all right, whereas the purple, there's more variation going on. And that's the other comment, that the comparison comment that we want to be able to make. So the PSA vert is um, more variable 
Ben. A U E M P M E D. Um, and there we are.